In approaching my job as part of the team at Vermont Orthopedic Clinic, I like to have professionalism and compassion as part of it. Um, our team, which is, there's three technologists and we work really well together. We have a, a great rapport um, and I think the professionalism just comes out when you get along really well together. And recently I had an encounter with a patient who had told, who had told me in the beginning that he had had hearing um, issues and he had hearing aids. Um, and I proceeded to go through the exam. And at the end of the exam, he, he thanked me for not yelling at him. And he said that he hesitates in telling people that he has hearing issues because the minute he does, that people start yelling at him. And he said, he said he did, he really appreciated how I had treated him. And what I had done was I had really just spoken clearly to him and looked directly at him. Um, I think it's important that when you, when someone tells you something, that you listen to them. And it really doesn't take much sometimes to just make a difference in your interaction with that patient. It can be small. I greet patients with a smile as I welcome them into the clinic. I want patients to be as comfortable and at, at ease as possible. As I bring them into the exam room, I introduce myself explaining my role at VOC. I like to take a few minutes uh, to discuss the reason for the patient's visit, uh, take their medical history, and answer any questions or concerns that they may have at this time. As I leave the room, I let the patient know that the doctor will be in shortly, and I thank them for choosing the Vermont Orthopedic Clinic, and I let them know that I have enjoyed meeting them. Working with patients at the Vermont Orthopedic Clinic is only one aspect of my job, but it is the most rewarding part of being a medical assistant. Helping patients have a positive experience is most important to me. Well, as the switchboard operator here at VOC, I feel like I'm an ambassador for our office. Uh, many people that call here are anxious, they're in pain, they're injured, and I'm the first voice that they hear. So I try and put them at ease by offering my first name and asking how I can assist them. Um, I calmly and courteously ask them questions to make sure I route their call to the appropriate staff member. And if I need to place them on a brief hold, I let them know ahead of time and if the hold's longer than expected, then I come back on the line and ask if they want to continue holding or leave a voicemail. And I try and end each call with a thank you or a you're welcome. And I try and make every interaction with each caller a positive one. So I care about patients in a compassionate, professional manner by treating them the way that I want to be treated. Um, you know, I use AIDIT every single day, and even before the, the hospital rolled out the AIDIT program, is I was pretty much doing all of that because that's just how I'd like to be treated as a patient uh, and as, as a person. I know that when I go to other places, you know, the, the one thing that stands out is that if I don't have a positive interaction, I, I kind of, I, I feel almost jaded. Like I'm there to, to, to buy a service or to get a service that, that they're providing, and I like being treated in, in, in a respectful manner. Our patients aren't here for us. We're here for our patients. And just to, to thank them for coming in because it's a choice. They don't have to come to, to RRMC. They don't have to come to, to, to VOC. They can go other places. So to, to treat them in a respectful manner, to be nice to them, to thank them for coming, to, to make sure that all their questions are answered. And if I can't answer a question, to say, you know, I don't have the answer to that question, but, but give me a few minutes and I will find somebody that has that answer. And, uh, and we'll, we'll get you out of here with no questions whatsoever so that we're all on the same page and, and you know what's going on and, and, and we can facilitate you through it. Well, I don't have a face-to-face -face contact with patients any longer. I'm the referral specialist, so the way that I care for my patients is making sure that I take the time to answer all of their questions on the phone, make sure they understand what's going to happen at their appointment and why they're being seen and who they're seeing for their problem and make sure that they have a direct way to contact me at all times for any further questions. I do both answering phones and rooming patients. So I use AIDIT. Um, when I call a patient into the room, I always extend my hand to shake their hand as I'm introducing myself. When I take phone calls, if I can't answer 
the patient right away, I will give them a specific date and time that I will call them back. If I cannot get back to them in that time, I will call them back and say there has been a delay and explain what the delay has been and when I will get back to them. VOC, VOC, that's where you want to be. If you hurt your knee on a tree, this is where you want to be. Second verse, different than first, got a concussion, don't go fussing. We got the man, we got the man, Dr. Gammons. We had a mistake, she ain't gonna fix your back, we got Dr. Z for that. Here's our last verse, we promise we won't curse. Drew and Dan are fans, but Dr. Stein will fix your hands. She's so fine, she will put your wrist back in line. Can't be harsh, can't forget Marsh, he can dance in his smarty pants. Dr. Morgan, love you.